Welcome to this Sunday edition of Eagles 360 presented by Xfinity. I'm Molly Sullivan. With all eyes on week one, let's start with the offensive side of the ball. As four players made their return to practice from injuries, Nelson Aguilar, Corey Clement, Donnell Pumphrey, and Marcus Wheaton. Carson Wentz has not been cleared for contact, but that hasn't interfered with his return to play and his progress as he continues to be evaluated every day. It's out of my control. Uh, I just focus on getting open. You know, unfortunately, like my first couple of years here, I did, oftentimes I didn't know who was going to play quarterback. So I just focused on getting open and kind of um, and some of the balls in the air, just making plays. So whether it's Nick or Carson or Nate Sudfeld, we got all the confidence in the world. And, and all three of those guys, are guys are really talented quarterbacks. And I just go out there and do my job. Feels good. Uh, I miss, you know, you miss your faces. Nelson wasn't in there. Mac, BG uh, is going to be back in. Uh, you know, start to see Carson more and more. So, starting to be more familiar, I guess. So, we'll get those guys in. Uh, it's all about practice, really. Uh, it's mundane it's now. We got to take practice seriously, uh, especially these next couple weeks uh, going into game one. Entering the preseason, head coach Doug Peterson shared three points of emphasis health, execution, and maintaining the edge. Now, with the countdown set at 11 for the season opener, the team continues to work on its rhythm. It's all about the evaluation. You're trying to evaluate the player um, and, and see if the player can eliminate his mistakes, you know, mentally, uh, the, the mental errors, you know, during a game. And see, like an offensive line, for instance, if four guys are going left and one is going right, well, we got to fix the guy that's going to the right. And and so we got to figure out why that's happening. Is it is it a communication breakdown, say, with the center guard, or is it just he didn't hear the call? Or you know, so we're evaluating all of that and how well our players can process information quickly in those in those environments. Yeah, I mean, we've been holding stuff back since we started last year. There's no point in showing things that are going to allow us to be a dynamic offense in the preseason where it gives Atlanta an extra two weeks to prepare for it because I'm sure they're starting to be focusing on us now. Um, so, that we, I mean, that we, we have a lot of stuff that are in our back pocket. we got a lot of great coaches. And that's the thing that sticks out about this staff is that they're always constantly finding new ways to put people in position to be successful. Um, so it's going to be fun. I mean, we're not panicked by any means as an offense. We've got, we got talent. we got the players just focusing on the little details. I mean, we moved the ball last week. Uh, we just didn't focus and finish like we had to uh, first drive. I don't get it. I proper depth. I'm sure the sticks, and we turn the ball over on that. So I can only speak for myself. I'm going to improve. Um, but they're, they're, they're preseason games for a reason. I'm going to get Peterson also indicated that while the starters won't take the field until September 6th, the overall sense of urgency and attention to detail has been picked up. We just got to continue to keep working. Um, you know, the way I construct, way I structure practice this week is the, the, the so-called penciled in guys will we'll get some work. Um, However, we're still evaluating, evaluating some, some younger guys, and, and we still have one more preseason game to go before things really begin to heat up. I really feel like their sense of urgency and, and uh, their attention to detail these last couple of weeks has really sort of picked up, knowing that you know they're getting ready for the start of the year. Preseason's a little different because it's, it's tough to evaluate you know, wins and losses, obviously. You, you want to evaluate individual performance and, and then collectively as units, offense, defense, special teams. and. You know, there were some really good individual efforts, um, you know, in the game. But at the same time, you know, it's another great opportunity this week for a lot of young players uh, to showcase their uh, abilities one last, you know, one last time. And then I just got to make sure that the, the guys that are, you know, going to play in the Atlanta game get some attention this week as well. Case in point, the development of Jordan Mailata with a rare size and skill combination in one final preseason game to prove that he belongs in Philadelphia with the world champions. Like I said, it's a new week, yeah. uh, you know, um, and what I was telling one of the other guys before this was that it's about consistency, you know. It's good to have a good game, especially you know, having not, or not having any experience from it, but I think one thing I can learn is, is that just to put that behind, you know, I put the bad games behind, got to put the good games too, but take the good stuff out and focus on the next week. For him to go like to, you know, never doing anything football related to where he's at now, I mean, it's, it's been night and day. It's 
super impressive to watch. Have you ever seen anything like that in, in any sport, really? Uh, no, but I mean, at the same time, he's so big and such a great athlete. Yeah. Um, you know, really the sky's the limit for him. In what has been a competitive summer, consistency is the key for the Eagles. When the time comes, um, you know, as far as we build game plans, things of that nature. But, you know, for him, it's just consistency, just over and over and over, seeing the same things, making the same throws, um, and, and, and just keep working and, and building towards, you know, the season. Yeah, the more we, the more we play together, the, the better we're going to be. Um, once, you know, JP's going to be coming back, uh, get him and Wiz on the same page. So um, it's ultimately going to be up to us. We can be as good as we want to be. Good. Uh, we got to continue to put stuff on film that coaches can use to see what we can do as a personnel group. Uh, you can't just draw stuff up um, on, on Thursdays and expect it to work on Sundays. You got to go out there and show it that he can go out there and get the job done. I can go out there and get the job done. You can't just um, go out there and kind of feel it out. Uh, it's got to be uh, time tested, and that's what we're trying to do. And that is what we like to call here at the NovaCare Complex, Eagles 360, presented by Xfinity.